Hi everyone, my name is Ayush and I'm a petroleum engineer and I've been working in the oil and gas industry since past 4 years. In this video, we will understand what is petroleum engineering, where is the requirement and what is the scope finally. So, petroleum engineering is a field of engineering which is majorly oil and gas fields. In this case, we will be studying about how to bring oil and gas, which is crude oil and natural gas, अर्थ सरफेसेस के नीचे से कैसे सेफली और इकोनॉमिकली वायबल तरीके से उसको सरफेस पे लेकर आए अब ये समझते हैं कि पेट्रोलियम इंजीनियरिंग की रिक्वायरमेंट आई कहाँ से मार्केट के अंदर तो जैसे ही इंडस्ट्री ग्रो हुई ऐसे इंजीनियर्स की डिमांड स्टार्ट हो गई जो कि डायरेक्टली ग्रेजुएट होते होते ही ऑयल एंड गैस डोमेन को बहुत क्रिटिकली समझ पाए तो जैसे कि डेटा साइंस है अभी डेटा साइंस के अंदर देर आर स्टेटिस्टिशंस रिक्वायर्ड हु कड डू कोडिंग एंड गेट आउट वैल्यूबल इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द डेटा Similarly, I need engineers who can understand drilling, which is where the oil is found, crude oil or gas, where it is found, they can understand its properties and the production, when I will remove them, what difficulties will be in that space, they have already learned from college. So rather than I will tell all these things from the core, I want engineers who have come from the college. There is a petroleum engineers requirement. So this is an engineering that has uh, all the fields, mechanical, chemical, uh, electronics combined into one with specific subjects. Each operation ke liye ek specific subject banaya gaya. That is the requirement of petroleum engineering in the market. Now we'll talk about uh, how to job market for a petroleum engineer. So if you're pursuing a petroleum engineering, you will be basically limiting yourself to the oil and gas field. Ya fir wo companies jo ki oil and gas, ya fir, uh, analytics company jo oil and gas ke andar, uh, deal karti hai. So it is uh, you will be limiting yourself to a very uh, short number of companies. And a lot of times when the oil and gas is in boom, uh, the prices are high. You will be getting very good salaries and then jobs job market will be flourishing. But at the same time, when oil and gas ka phase acha nahi chal raha hota, jobs bahut kam ho jati hai, salaries kam ho jati hai. So this is something you know you'll be betting on uh, for the future. Uh, but the major pro about this industry is that you will be actually uh, not jack of all trades but master of one and that is something that will be uh, valuable for you in the long run at the at the same time agar aap oil and gas industry ke andar ja pate ho to you will be making uh, much more as an average engineer than any other uh, scope of engineering finally aata work life balance so if you are looking for a work life balance jahan pe aapko acche se quality time spend karne ka mauka mile to petroleum engineering might not be something for you because yahan par bahut hi extreme hours rehte hain shifts ki duty rehti hai you'll have to do night shifts uh, you'll have to do 12 12 hours of uh, shifts and ghar se koso dur rehne ko milega to if you are a person jisko ek ek sweet quality life chahiye to petroleum engineering might not be for you but uh, ha if you can take an extreme life uh, then this is a very high rewarding job uh, once you get in the industry now the question might arise that uh, you want to be safe but at the same time you do not want to uh, kill your options to go to the oil and gas industry so there is always a possibility that you can do mechanical or chemical engineering or uh, electronics engineering and you can end up uh, in one or the other oil and gas firm because uh, more than 60 or 70 percent of the engineers working in these uh, fields are from domains uh, that are very generic and not as particular as petroleum engineering. So there is always a chance uh, to actually pursue these fields so that uh, you have you'll have cushion uh, just in case uh, there is uh, the market is very volatile uh, so you can always go to other companies uh, rather than being limited to the oil and gas com uh, companies so that is all uh, for the petroleum engineering moreover uh, if you pursue a petroleum engineering in ma uh, bachelors uh, you will be having a very very limited scope to pursue your masters so if you are looking for uh, pursuing your masters as well you can always think of uh, taking a very generic subject uh, like a mechanical or chemical uh, or electrical engineering right now and then maybe you can focus on the petroleum engineering in your masters uh, that is all i hope uh, this gave you some perspective because i have shared all the details from what i have uh, learned uh, in the industries and from my uh, friends from all the domains of mechanical chemical petroleum uh, electronics what is your outlook of the industry how do you think that uh, oil and gas or petroleum engineering is going to perform in the next coming years uh, drop your comments in the comment box